So, Jamie, a win in quite dramatic fashion for the team last weekend, 28-24. How pleased with the squad with that performance? Um, Performance-wise, I'm not sure how pleased they were. Uh, definitely pleased to get the victory in the end. Boys worked hard, I think, up until the 86th minute. We got that final try. So, yeah, they're really pleased to get the win. Um, a few things we had to iron out with the actual performance. We started the game really well, had a quiet spell, and then finished it well. So I'd say probably result over performance as far as, as how happy they were. Um, I thought we maybe missed an opportunity. Um, yeah, we had we had the two five metre lineouts that, that we didn't take advantage of. I thought that was our, our chance gone. Um, but you know we we um, you know, we we got a good call with the, the free kick from the scrum, uh, and from that point on, I, I, I didn't think we would. Uh, we would mess it up again. So no, that was that was very pleasing. Um, you know, especially to have gone from a position on our own try line just down here, um, you know, a few minutes previously to work our way back up there and, and create an opportunity was great. And, you... and on to old Albanians this Saturday, who was second from bottom and got a bit of a relegation battle on their hands. They've got a lot to play for this Saturday, haven't they? Uh, yeah, they've got a lot to play for. Obviously, they're fighting for their lives, but I think we have as well. Um, the boys went up to Hull, and I think we're disappointed with the way that we went up there. So. It's our last away game of the season. I think it's important to show people and to show ourselves that, that we're still fighting for every point that's available. Um, going away there, it's going to be tough, as you say, they're fighting for league status, but we're, we're also wanting to finish our season on a high. It's, the, it's, uh, yeah, it's an exact replica of the situation we went into at, at Hull. Um, you know, so it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for us to go and, and prove that we've learned from those mistakes two weeks ago. Um, you know, and go and put in a performance away from home against a highly motivated side. And we had good news this week that Sam Daly had signed his contract for next season. How important is it to secure the services of players of that calibre for the team? Uh, it's, yeah, it's a great signing. He's worked really hard since he came in, or 18 months or so ago at the end of the season before. Um, no, he's, he's deserved his new contract. He's playing well, he's working hard, gets his head down. So, yeah, he's a good lad. I know he does a lot of the coaching as well. And he's a local boy, so it's good to keep hold of those sort of players. Yeah, you know, he had to be patient just before Christmas. You know, he said in his interview, um, you know, George was, was playing very well, but you know, when, when Sam got his opportunity, he yeah, he really exploded and, and, and made the most of it. And yeah, you know, I'm excited to see how he how he develops over the next season. And we also heard that Rupert, um, fellow hooker Rupert Freestone, moving on to pastures new. I'm sure you'd like to say a few words to Rupert as he departs. <laughs> yeah, no, Rupert's a good player. We've always battled well um, every time we've been here together. Um, it's certainly improved my game this season, um, knowing that I'm fighting for that number two shirt, and I think he'd say the same. Um, but he's got an exciting time moving to the big city to uh, finally get a job, which is impressive. So, yeah, I, I wish him all the best for the future, and hopefully goes well in the championship as well. Yeah, you know, I've, I've you know, spoken to Rupert a few times about this. You know, we, we, we do wish him all the best, and you know, uh, you know, I hope everything works out well for him. You know, he's, he's been a big presence in our changing room for the past couple of years. Uh, you know, and, and he will be missed, but you know the the club moves on, and you know, and, and players make decisions, and we we have to live with that, and, and wish them all the best, and, and carry on about our business.